Hello, Rita here. Welcome to New Nail Tech Success, where I help you get started as a nail technician. How you guys doing? My YouTube homies, hopefully you are all doing as good as I am. And I truly mean that. So, um, back with another video, just to update you guys. I've been practicing my nail art, um, so I can develop my skills. And so I've been actually focusing on freehand abstract nail art designs like this. I really do like uh, abstract nail art. And I've been doing those designs with my striper in a bottle. You can get these from Dollar General or any um, type of beauty supply store. They usually have them. And I had decided, you know, I see a lot of nail tech techs doing the freehand abstract designs with craft paint. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a try to see if I would like using them better than the stripers in the bottle. Um, you guys, I thought it would be a very easy transition um, to using the craft paint. But it's a little tricky uh, to get a hang of it uh, at first. And I did practice it, so I want to go ahead and share a few tips with you guys so that if you have a desire to use craft paint uh, in your nail art you can do so with ease okay so what I what you see here is some different brands of craft paint that I've purchased um, mainly from Michaels but I did get some from Joanne Fabrics and as well as Pac Tans so you can pretty much find these at, even at Walmart so you can go ahead and get them from there. Now, um, they may all look the same, but there is a difference in the paint depending on what you want to use it for. Um, for nail art, you want to get a um, multi-surface paint. Okay, um, um, a lot of the a lot of the paints won't tell you up on the front. You have to read the back. And they'll tell you what it's for, uh, whether it's for metal, glass, ceramics, hard, rigid plastic. And, you know, hard, rigid plastic is what acrylic is, as well as gel, so it will work. Um, so just read the back of the bottles. If it's not on there, you could just go ahead and ask a salesperson. They will definitely be able to tell you, which is what I did have to do uh, a couple times. So I've bought, I've had a lot of paint. Uh, I bought like four, three or four years ago, never used them. I bought a lot of the Craft Smart paint, okay? And this is a Michaels brand. This is made specifically for Michaels, and I bought a lot of it. It's cheap, 59 cents. Beautiful colors, a lot of different colors, and I just went plum crazy, but never did anything with it. But I, when I started to use it just like a couple of weeks ago, I realized that this this is not the best paint out the bottle um, and I mean out the bottle like coming straight out just pouring it out and being able to use for nail art let me just show you what I'm talking about when you are uh, doing nail art with craft paint I was told you, you need to add water because of the thickness of the paint well if you can see this craft smart paint is very very runny if I tilt it like this it's, it will run out of the palette you know and but what I did was thinking that you had to add water to it I added more water to it so it would not stick on the nail let me show you so then I did not add water to it thinking that would help it to see if that would work and it still look at that it still won't stay on the nail it does not have good coverage at all you know even without water it's just a runny paint now I have all these bottles of this craft smart paint and it's like well what can I do with it I was told that if I add a little white to it um, that will bring it to a quality that you can do I can do nail art with it so here's a little bit of my um, Folk Art Paint, which is a premium paint, a great paint, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But I was told that if you add a good paint to it, a good white paint to it, 
it will help thicken it up. And while that's true, it changes the color. So if I really wanted that deep blue, I'm adding this white to it. You know, it's, it's lightening it up, you know, and then of course I can darken it up by adding black and go back and forth until I get it back to this blue that I want, want it. And it's just a hassle to me, you know, to try to bring up this runny paint to a nail art quality paint. A much easier way I'm going to do a much easier way um, is just to buy premium paint. And when I say premium paint, it's just a better quality craft paint, like folk art. I like folk art. I love Americana. I would say I love Americana um, better than folk art. And I'm going to tell you, show you why. Another good one is uh, Apple Barrel. So between these three that I've used so far, between the paints that I've used so far, these are these are my top three brands. If I had to rank them, Americana, then Folk Art, then Apple Barrel. And let me just show you why. Okay. This right here is the, uh, the uh, Americana. You just need to add a little water to it, and it's pretty much the consistency that you want and what I'm doing guys off camera is just taking my brush and dipping it into a little water and that's what you want to have by you when you're working with acrylic I just have a plastic bottle of water and so you want this to be the consistency of ink okay and so that you can go ahead and see and make your your strokes that right there though, I've added a little bit too much water because now it's almost to the same consistency as the, the Craft Smart. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more paint to it just to thicken it up. Okay, that's it. Now I have the quality that I want. If you have not seen the video on how to bring your polish back to life, I show you how to thin out polish and get it to the right consistency. I think it's a good idea to watch that short video because you'll get an idea of how to thin out the acrylic. It's pretty much the same concept except you're using water. But you want it to have a nice inky consistency to where it just flows on the nail. It's just going to flow. Look at that. And you can just see it has great coverage because it's just a great paint. Okay. And on this one, this one here, this third one is the Folk Art. Folk Art is a good quality paint for nail art too. It's just that it comes out thick and you do need to add water to it um, to get it right. But that Americana pretty much, I've used it right out the bottle and it just flows. The reason why I had to add water right here is because it was sitting for a while but right out the bottle you can use that Americana on your nails pretty much without a whole lot of manipulation and it, it, it will go on great. So this is the folk art paint. Good quality. It's gonna do the same thing. See? Just nice coverage nice strokes okay now the acrylic is water-based you want a fast drying acrylic paint guys when you go and buy your um, paint um, Americana is a fast drying premium paint dollar seventy is worth every buck to me um, the only thing is with the Americana it's not as many vibrant colors as Craft Smart, but if you know color theory, and I'll, I'll discuss that a little bit in another video, you can make any color with just your primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Okay, so that's just an, a quick overview of the paint. The main thing is go ahead and get you some premium quality paint, get you water, get your water, thin it out if you need to, 
or you will need to depending on which one you use and just get to going get to going with your nail art endeavors like I'm gonna do so let me just bring the camera up and just show you guys on the nail how this Americana just goes okay just flows and that's what you want it should be so easy it should just flow I mean to make your thin your thick lines your little dabs and these this brush is just the striper brush I got from Amazon which I'll have in the link but that's what you want that fluidity Alright guys, hope this video has been helpful to you. If it was, please like. If you have any questions, comments, put them in the comment section. And if you have yet to become a part of this wonderful little community, this little YouTube family that we're growing of us nail tech enthusiasts, nail art enthusiasts, then go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, take care.